Day 13 of diagnosing fictional characters with real-life diseases until I get sued. You think cursed spirit manipulation is a cool power? No, it is the most biologically destructive technique in history. He describes the taste as a rag used to wipe up vomit. That isn't a metaphor. It's a warning from his brain. Curses aren't food. They are concentrated masses of negative energy, filth, and malice. When Ghetto swallows them, he isn't digesting protein. He is introducing necrotic toxins directly into his gastrointestinal tract. This causes acute microbiome dysbiosis. His gut bacteria aren't just dying. They are being colonized by evil non-biological matter. Science tells us the gut is the second brain. When your gut is poisoned, it stops producing serotonin, the happiness chemical. 90% of serotonin comes from the gut. He didn't just turn evil. He physically exterminated his own ability to feel happiness by eating thousands of curses. The vomit taste is his body's evolutionary panic alarm, screaming poison, but he suppresses the gag reflex every single day. This creates a psychogenic purging disorder loop. He associates the act of saving people with the physical sensation of swallowing filth. Every time he saves a human, he has to taste their sins. Eventually, the brain decides the only way to stop the nausea is to stop saving the humans. He didn't lose his mind. He ate it, one curse at a time. Spirit-induced sepsis. That's my diagnosis. See you tomorrow. Stay sharp.